Oliver, can you plug the router back in? I'm trying to track a package. <gasps> Give me a minute. Hey, guys, what's up with the internet? I can't log on to task it. It's prime gigging hour. It's right after everyone checks Instagram, but before they get drunk. I thought as an elite status tasker, you got your pick of the jobs. I told you, task it got bought. OK, there's no status of any kind now. It's a goddamn free for all. Right. Really? Nothing about your situation down there? I don't know what you're talking about. The oversized bags you're carrying? <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. Liza, when did you get surgery? And why didn't you tell me so I could borrow some of your Vicodin? What? It's not for me, it's for Bark Paul. He gets so wound up before meet and greets. Mm. Also for me. Why can't I experiment with my look? I mean, you wear mascara. It enhances my beautiful almond-shaped eyes. It'd be a crime not to wear it. Well, last week, two different people mistook me for a child. A child. Granted, one of them was at the movies, and I was not about to turn down that kid's snack tray. It comes in a race car. Nickel. Not really. But worse, you know how I signed up for toothpaste and orange juice? The worst name for a dating app. Literally two things you should never combine. Really? Well, Michael B. Jordan's on it. And so is Michael C. Jordan. Huh? I don't know, but he's hot. Mm. But anyways, I haven't gotten one response on my profile. Not one. But last night, I took some new photos wearing these. And guess what? But I, I got a date. That's right. I'm going on a date later because everyone loves a woman. <laughs> Who's this date with? Show, show. Well, his name is Tyler. And look, he's basically a professional athlete. There he is wearing a baseball hat. Oh, and that's him on a motorcycle. And that's a picture of a pizza. Oh, it's cheat day. I don't know. What happens after the date? During open house, when Tyler wants to tour upstairs. But it's much smaller than the pictures online. Is everything real estate with you? Right what you know. Well, he will not be taking that tour. And even if he does, it'll definitely be in the dark. Nudity is strictly reserved for lights out. I was publicly naked for one day and one day only, and that was the day I was born. And I intend to keep it that way. OK, so how's my outfit for my date? He's taking me to Office-topia. <gasps> what? Office-topia? What is Office-topia? Uh um, only the hottest Instagram installation. There are all these office spaces, and you pretend you work in an office and take pictures to post. Ugh. And you get to send emails and faxes, and every two hours, it's somebody's birthday and they have cake in the break room. Oh, and I hear that there's this woman named Karen who just sits there and complains that the AC is too high. This just sounds like somebody's office where they're scamming you all to come in and do free work. Oliver, if it was a scam, could you take a picture with this gigantic world's best boss mug? It is impossible to get a reservation. I had a spot, but I had to give it up. I ordered Bart Paul the cutest little three-piece suit to wear from Japan, but I missed the delivery like twice, which makes zero sense because I've literally just been sitting here waiting for it. And if I don't get it by today, they're gonna send it back to Tokyo. Keep okay, put the router back in. I'm working on it. Ooh, task it. Perfect. I'm gonna squeeze in a job right before my date. A model? That's amazing. See, I also put my new look on my Tasket app. Everybody loves these things. They open doors. They're master keys. <laughs> I'm a model. I'm a woman model. A woman model. So you're all set. Glad you came back. Hi there. I'm here for the modeling job. Oh, look at you. You're perfect. Perfect? Well. I don't really believe in labels, but if you must. So you've done this before? Modeling? Yeah. Oh, I mean, when you look like this, it's like, oh, please, stop objectifying me. I'm just waiting on the other model. When she gets here, you can both get undressed. There are robes inside you can put on until we get started. Un undressed? What? It's a life drawing class to study the naked human form. Oh. Did you Photoshop our faces onto a wedding picture? That is so creepy. I mean, look at that tiara. What is this, junior prom? Well, see, I met a really hot hubby chaser at the market a couple weeks ago. Oh, don't say that. I think you look really good. Hubby chaser. It's a guy who's turned on by straight men on the DL. Anyway, I may have pretended to be married and let him lure me out of the closet. I thought it was going to be a one-time thing, but we're kind of vibing. 
We went out last week. I made him meet me in Pasadena so no one from my church would see us. But then I caught him checking out a man who was walking with his wife, and now he won't text me back. Because you're not straight enough? Exactly. So I'm leveling up. He's gonna come over here and see exactly how goddamn straight I am. Oh. I mean. <clears throat> Wait, today? Oliver, no, I have to wait here all day for my delivery. They didn't knock while I was in the shower, did they? Oh, shoot, that's right. Well, since you're gonna be here anyway. You knew that I couldn't leave, so you invited him over for me to be your fake wife, didn't you? What? He's an IT guy, and he's coming over here to fix the router. That way you can get online and track down Bark Paul's suit. Is the router even broken? Of course it is. You don't have a pair of mom jeans, do you? You know I have several. They accentuate my small waist. <laughs> you can do this. They're just gonna draw you like a bowl of fruit. And I'm a flat piece of fruit. Come on, come on. The teacher said you were perfect. Sorry I'm late. Whoa, ah, uh, hey. Uh, you might be new here too, but uh, there, there are robes. We're just gonna take them off, right? Yeah, you're right, yeah. Good points, boobs, points, nipples, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, can I see the models, please? Mm-hmm. Can we see the other model? Yep. Yeah. I'll be right there. With, with no clothes on. In front of all these strangers. To observe my every, my every flaw. In one. Two. Two and a half. Oh, am I kidding? I'm not gonna do this. <gasps> Maybe start without me! Oh, what the? This isn't the dressing room. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't walk around front in this tiny robe. Oh, please let me walk around front in this tiny robe. Hello? Anyone? I know you're all staring at a perfectly proportioned naked woman, but hello? I guess I'm just gonna have to die here. I'm just gonna find my tiny skeleton in a robe. My date, Tyler, Office-topia. Okay, just have to make it over there without anybody seeing me. Like a naked Banksy. New service from the post office. Hand delivery. No more waiting in line at the mailbox. You have a good day now. Huh. Not bad. This could be my new look. Did someone pee on this? Is that blood? It's all the fluids! Oh, you look adorable in this. Oh, thanks. I was just walking by with all my clothes on and thought, oh, I have to try that coat on. So I did. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You know, actually, I have a ton like this inside. Come see, inside. Of course, because you're a store. Yeah. You're not just giving away coats out here. Are you? <clears throat> Hello there. Hello yourself. <laughs> Honey, the guy's here to fix the router. The guy I've never met before. So, uh, this is where you live? With your wife? Shh. I can't get caught. There you are, my chocolate love. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize there was anyone else here. I never do when Mr. Wright is in the room. <laughs> Isn't he just the most handsome groom you've ever seen? Because <laughs> we're married. 
to each other. Yep, yeah, we are married. Oh, and we have so much heterosexual sex. <laughs> sex, sex, sex. Ooh. <laughs> he can't keep his hands off me. So much bone. <gasps> okay, would you excuse us for a second? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm supposed to be in an unhappy marriage. No sex. That's why I stray. Oh, no, 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 no. You stray because you're gay, not because I don't satisfy you. I am all satisfaction, honey. Also, chocolate love. Oh, you thought I was so adorable when I called you that in our wedding toast. There was no wedding toast. Okay, sure. Next thing you're going to tell me, there was no honeymoon in Bora Bora. Wait. Wait, we went to Bora Bora? Do we stay in one of those cute overwater bungalows? No, no. Just... Go back out there and be more unhappy, like a real married couple. Fine, but I'm not spending another Christmas with your family in Buffalo. I'm not even from Buffalo. Yeah, so I can come in tomorrow to get a spray tan. Yeah, I just feel so pale. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, what are you doing? What's up? Oh, I was just, I was just trying to see this in a more natural light, because fluorescence, you know. So you weren't trying to leave without paying, were you? Oh, I would never. Wait a second, did you think I was with this? I, <laughs> that's hysterical. No, see, if only you knew how often I pay for stuff, which I do, often. Well, that's a lovely tan you've got there. Very uh, natural. Oh, thank you. People with more color are statistically proving to be more attractive. It helps us not to procreate with the weak and sickly. Hi. Hey, do you have a phone I can use? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Slippery. So this is where the router is? Right here? In the closet? You like it here in the closet? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a married man who needs another hot man to fix his Wi-Fi. You want to see what tool I'm going to use? <laughs> Oliver, where are you? Just one second. Hey, kind of in the middle of something. Great, I need you to go into my room, grab me some clothes, and come meet me near Office Topia. What? Are you crazy? I'm not doing that. Can you come and bring me some money then? Look, I am trapped at a vintage store on 3rd with a lady who has a worse fake tan than all the real housewives combined. No, no. Please? Look, I lost all my clothes and my wallet, and I've literally been running around Los Angeles naked. Oh, good God. Sweetheart? <sighs> Shh. Okay, fine. I'll clean the bathroom for the next month, and I'll stop eating your chili cashews. I knew that was you. Okay, fine. I will meet you by Office Topia, but if you're not there, I'm leaving your clothes in the nearest trash can. I'm not waiting for you. That's aggressive, but thank you. Worse than all the real housewives. I meant that as a compliment. I'm so sorry. I'm awful. I'm grotesquely pale, but do you think you can find it in your heart to lend me something to wear? Anything? It's brown bag chic. Kona Fanning wore the same one. Paper cuts in my armpits. Is that Tyler? Office Tokyo. Welcome to Be Will Be Tox. Do you have an appointment? Huh? Oh, uh, no. Okay, I think we can squeeze in a walk-in. Love your dress, by the way. Is this your first time getting Botox? Well, welcome to the newest skincare miracle. All the benefits of Botox and fillers with none of the chemicals. It's just all natural bee venom. You sting people on the face with bees? No. Not unless you spring for the top of the line queen package. Most people just do the basic injections. You probably have mm, another year before we have to address the eyes, but the lip plumping is a right now. Lauren, if you're having trouble breathing, just give me a nudge. Okay. Ready? Let's get you lips. They get you likes. Okay, um, I'm good. I actually have some bees at home that I can use, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Oh. Careful! Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think one got out. No, no, don't swat at it. It's a certified medical aid. Oh. It's in here. It's in my bag. It's in my bag. It's trying to get all up in my eye.
Okay, that was a lot more complicated than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know when uh, Oliver's coming back? Me? <laughs> Please. He doesn't tell me anything anymore. Always sneaking off, saying he's going to the gym. <sighs> we used to be so happy. But I'm not giving up. He's my man, and I will make this marriage work. Um, Bark Paul Gosseler, you're a fan too? Fan? Honey, he's my dog. <laughs> Shut up. I adore. I know, he is pretty adorable, isn't he? When you dress him up like Jonathan Van Ness from Queer Eye, okay, that was a moment. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? <laughs> you want to meet him? Are you serious? Come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, why, yes, I would like to learn French. Man. to give it to me. Oh, this? Look, I'm so sorry. It's a really long story, but I kind of really need it right now. I can hang it back up as soon as I'm done. No! No, I have been all over town tearing those awful things down. They are extremely offensive. Have you seen the woman on the cover? Yes. Well, what's wrong with her? I have spent years starving myself and working out, and now they're just gonna put someone like that on the cover, huh? This has all just been for nothing? What, now they're just gonna let fat people star in movies and do love scenes and go to the beach in bathing suits without shame? No, I won't stand for it. Okay, I don't want a level playing field. Give it to me! No! It should be me on that cover. Do you know how many times I've posted about bikini tea? I have to be within five feet of a bathroom at all times. You can't outrun me. I had breakfast on Tuesday. No! Ooh, I need to find a bathroom. Oliver! Oliver! Come here. Miss, you can't stand here. You could lose my license having a naked person this close to the fruit. Got it. Also, you're gonna have to pay for those coconuts now that they've touched your body. Sorry. I can't believe how many people are lined up for this crap. Here. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'll just get dressed and get out of your way. I'll even buy some fruit. And the coconut. I will not. Actually, only because you're half papaya. You would not believe the day I've had. Oh, my god. You did great with this outfit. I love it. I told you a million times. Let me style you. New day. I'm here for it. <laughs> OK, just need to top load. For the record, I still think this is wrong. Voila. How do I look? Like a woman who's lying about her body. Well, if you'll excuse me, I need to go home and pretend to be a straight, closeted gay man in a made-up marriage in order to be more attractive to another gay man. Hmm. Tyler? Liza? Hey. Hi. So great to meet you in person. Oh, I... That's just my... That's nothing. Beautiful day, huh? How did tropical fruit get in my shirt? What? Okay, Tyler, I have to be honest with you. I imagine this is less of a surprise the second time. Look, I've spent the entire day trying to hide what I really look like as if somehow Something is inherently wrong with me. And I don't want to waste any more time fighting my hair or my body or my skin trying to live up to some arbitrary beauty standard. I'd much rather spend that time learning French or helping the homeless or catching up on Breaking Bad because I've never seen it. And I don't think I can handle another person saying, you've never seen Breaking Bad? Please don't say it. Seriously, it's amazing. So I've heard. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm done, done with hiding from the world, but more importantly, from myself. You know, there is no one else here 
who looks exactly like me. And you know what? I like that. I like me. I'm perfect because I'm not perfect. We're all perfect, however God made us. Can somebody change the toner in the copy machine? I really appreciate your honesty, Liza. You're brave, and you're inspiring me to be brave, too. I can't see a thing without these. Sorry, you just got, like, super HD right there. And also... I should have seen that coming. You had a hat on in all your photos. Hey, I think you look good. And I think you're perfect. Uh, perfectly imperfect. This feels really right. You want to go back to my place and put some clothes on? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you going to work today? Oh, honey. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. Hi, sir. Can I um talk to you for a sec about some stuff I found in your system? I hope it was nothing bad. We need to stop this. Your wife is a lovely, lovely person, and she's crazy about you. I got to know her, and what I realized is what we're doing, it's wrong. Yeah, it's unfair. We need to end this lie because you owe yourself and that woman a little bit of truth. <sighs> Plus, I'm 99% sure I broke your router. I'm not really certified in IT. I just took an online course and then dropped out a day later. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> hey. Hey, what are you doing home so early? Well, Tyler came out about being bald, being blind, but managed to leave out the part about being married. What? Yeah, we went back to his place and there were pictures of his wife everywhere. Apparently, she was out of town for the weekend. Ah, uh, that is terrible. Uh. How bald, and does he by any chance need help with his internet? Don't answer that. Get out of here. Oh. <sighs> I can't believe you guys didn't Photoshop me into your fake wedding. Of course I did. See? Are my nostrils really that big? Jeez, it's like the Grand Canyon. Nobody look at me, I'm a monster. We go to work, 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 work. Oliver, you know you're crazy. We go to work, 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 we go to work. That's all the fluids. We go to work, work, Come on, work, work, work. We go to work, work, work. Ah, what are you gonna do with me? I got hair in my mouth, I'm sorry. Also, chocolate, oh, mm, damn it! I took away your line, and that is what men do. Straight men. Strictly nudity. What? On the next Lies On Demand. Can you believe they're just letting me use this car? I mean, the glove box is refrigerated. I went out and I bought butter just for the car. What's going on? One minute you're working in a DNA testing facility and you accidentally sneeze in a sample and a month later someone comes to your door because they think you're related? <laughs> Mommy's side fought in the Civil War for the right side. Which side is the right side? Oh. 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 Your white side owes us this. That is some messed up logic. Let's go with that.